12 dangerous attitudes that seem ordinary but aren't. That poison was only ever acceptable during the Britney Spears era, around 2003. However, there are some actions that we've begun to tolerate among ourselves. And now it's not acceptable. Whether you're the one giving or getting these, the results are rarely, if ever, favorable. So let's stay away from them and be better. These 12 harmful behaviors are thought to be typical but aren't. Or it ought not to be. Number 1 of insincerity. Insincerity. Not expressing or displaying genuine feelings is the definition of insincerity. Consider all the possible ways this might manifest in your life. Whether it's in your sexual connections, friendships in your personal life, or your professional life at work. It might not be deliberate, and it might even appear essential or innocuous. But genuineness wins out in the end. Say a buddy asks how you feel about her new hairstyle. Frankly, I think it's disgusting. Should you drool over her elegant appearance and act dishonest to spare her feelings? No. Should you tell her straight out that it's ugly? No. 2. Being genuine, diplomatic, and nice all at once is possible. It's a balancing act that becomes easier with experience, but it is achievable. Ghosting, the second most common. Ghosting, for those of you who are lucky enough not to have experienced it firsthand, is the act of someone abruptly stopping all communication with you and disappearing, usually someone you are dating. Rejection is what it is, but it isn't final. In essence, you are stuck wondering for all eternity with no answers. Or until the situation passes. Although it's so commonplace that we've come to accept it, it's actually cowardly. We also owe it to one another and to ourselves to rise above that. Thus, kindly inform them if you're not interested in receiving 30 texts from them in a row. You could even pick up the phone and really talk to them if you truly want to be a great human. Making assumptions about others. Number 3. Making judgments about other people. Making judgments is a normal human behavior. Upon meeting someone, we tend to evaluate them based on their outward appearance. These are known as initial impressions. We are limited in our ability to process information that has been given with us by others. We can never truly understand the struggles that others are facing. Suppose one of your close friends would like to introduce you to another friend of theirs. When you first meet someone, you don't think they're all that fantastic. That's a reasonable initial impression, but you might be unaware that your mutual buddy is attempting to get this individual to socialize more since they may be going through a very difficult split. Making decisions will inevitably occur. It's crucial to maintain an open mind. If you make judgments too hastily or without giving yourself the chance to find out more, you can lose out on some amazing experiences in life. Number 4 of Arrogance Arrogance The definition of arrogance is displaying an obnoxious sense of superiority. It's not hip. Who would want to spend time with someone who makes you feel inferior to them or believes they are better than you? It's critical to have confidence without becoming conceited. Furthermore, arrogance is typically a mask for insecurity. Being excessively rivalrous. Number 5 excessive competition. A little rivalry is enjoyable at all times. There is a limit to what is acceptable, but like many things, it may be quite inspiring for some people. An excessively competitive person prioritizes the win over the people. And your relationships could be ruined by that. It can be lonely at the top, as they say. It need not be, though. Although being competitive isn't always a terrible thing, you might want to take a step back and reevaluate if it starts to severely affect your relationships. It's not always worthwhile to win. Taking the victim role. Sixth, acting as the victim. There are those who truly struggle. Each of us is dealing with our own issues, which can occasionally be too much to handle. However, it's crucial to avoid adopting a victim mindset. You are disabled and unable to realize your full potential when you adopt a victim mentality. It is your responsibility to make the changes necessary to be happy, regardless of your background or even the circumstances you find yourself in. Asking for assistance is not a sign of weakness, but standing around hopelessly for someone to come to your aid can be very isolating. Attracting attention. The seventh is attention-seeking. Conscious or subconscious, attention-seeking behavior is an effort to command attention in order, occasionally, to win approval or respect. This could appear as though someone is trying to get attention or is saying something absurd in order to get a reaction. Similar to arrogance, this is typically the result of underlying trauma or deeper insecurity.
These attention-seeking actions frequently worsen over time. Additionally, injuries could occur if conditions grow dangerous enough. Catching the attention seeking at its source is preferable to waiting for things to get out of control. Pleasing the public. Number 8. Satisfied people. Going above and above to make others happy, even at the expense of your own time and resources, is known as people pleasing. Similar to conceit and the pursuit of attention, people pleasing stems from a lack of confidence and self-worth. People pleasers frequently have such low self-esteem that they think doing things for other people is the only way they can get their approval. It's wonderful to help others, but not when you're doing it to win their favor. This brings up the topic of self-worth once more. It's simpler to cease people pleasing if you realize who you are and where your value derives from. Self-centered. Number 9. Self-centeredness. One could argue that people pleasing equates to excessive generosity. So selfishness is at the other extreme of that scale. A self-centered individual will eventually lead a terribly lonely life. Selfishness pushes everyone else out and places you at the center. Therefore, even though you might succeed now, you probably won't have anything to show for it later on. Tenth imperfectionism, perfectionism. The pursuit of flawlessness or perfection is known as perfectionism. Nevertheless, it's merely a setup for failure and disappointment because perfection is unachievable. Aiming for perfection is impractical and can result in a number of issues, such as low self-esteem or depression. To ensure that you are always improving, you should challenge yourself in novel and interesting ways rather than aiming for perfection. Not speaking up number 11. Silent communication. Speaking up can be far more difficult for some people than for others. But it's significant in a lot of ways. In the end, every one of us ought to have the courage and self-assurance to voice our opinions. There are moments when people are too scared to speak up first. However, if you can find the guts to speak up, you'll frequently discover that people were just waiting for someone else to express what they were thinking or feeling. Gossip number 12. Gossip. Rumors are simply too alluring. It's terrible for you and everyone else, though. Consider all the wonderful, fruitful, and entertaining discussions you could be having instead of discussing the private information of others. Occasionally, you fall victim to it without even trying. While enjoying your cup o' noodles and privacy in the work break room, Shirley and Nancy entered and started chatting about Fred and Roberta. It's up to you whether you walk away or call them out on it, but either way, it's better than spreading rumors. You probably shouldn't be having the chat at all if you wouldn't have it with that individual in person. A great deal of damaging conduct was examined. While some of them are our own fault, others are something we have to put up with. Additionally, there were a few recurring themes. Has anyone caught them? Many of these actions stem from feelings of insecurity. In how many cases are you guilty? Tell us in the comments section below. Please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it so that we can continue to make more like it. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.